What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back in our Let's Play Town Hall 11 account and we're going to be working on a lot of challenges and honestly I think I might be trying to do too many challenges at once but we're going to see how this one goes. So we're going to be trying to knock out this percent challenge. We only have a little bit left but we're going to do the Valkyrie challenge or at least start on it. We probably won't get it finished today because it's like 40 stars. That's a lot of stars using eight Valkyries and we're also going to start on this Archer challenge at the same time. 40 stars using 30 archers, but we're also going to try to knock out the no hero challenge while doing the Valkyrie and archer attack. And then we should be able to get the walls down. We'll start deploying some troops. We'll start getting some heroes taken out. And we can actually finish off this helping hand right here. If I just go and request some troops on CB, uh, we could just go ahead and throw in some Valkyries right there and finish that one off. So we're going to try to knock out some challenges today. That's going to be our main goal. I don't think I can actually collect that. I cannot. So we'll see how this goes. I don't, uh, the no heroes, the Valks. I'm not a huge fan of Valks. We'll talk about that in a second. But first, let's quickly take care of today's comment question of the day. Coming from Madness KD. Comment question of the day. Why did you start doing YouTube? Anyone motivate you or a role model? So I kind of answered this in the past, uh, but I really like the second part of this question. So I started my YouTube channel just because I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel and I always thought it would be really cool. And just kind of uh, the opportunity presented itself and I started trying it out and it was fun. Loved it. But as far as like uh, motivation slash role model, I don't know necessarily motivation, but like a role model I really looked up to in the Clash community was cl uh, Clash with Cam. Uh, I watched Cam daily and really enjoyed his stuff. Really got me into kind of like checking out the YouTube stuff and uh, kind of going from there. And as, like as far as streaming goes... Uh, there was two that kind of got me into streaming, which was Galadon and Godson. I started watching them on a platform called Camcord, and that kind of inspired me to start streaming. So there's some inspiration for you guys. If you want to submit your own comment question of the day, CQOTD, down there in the comments, and you might get featured in a video just like Madness did today. So what we're going to do here today, guys, is... Uh, it, it's a little bit wild. We're going to do an army. We're using no heroes, so we're going to use two E-Drags to funnel. We're going to throw all of our Valkyries up into the center of the base. And we're going to hope for the best with this one, guys. I don't know if this is going to work. This one is going to cost a little bit of Dark Elixir, about 2700 And we need some Dark Elixir for our laboratory because we have uh, we have that Earthquake and that Haste spell to go up still. So hopefully we can get some challenges done while trying to do this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is going to work? The plan is going to be to funnel either side with the E-Drags. Uh, send the Wrecker up the middle and send everything else up the middle. Rage, heal, freezes, and hopefully we get some good stars. I, I don't know. As far as upgrades go in the base, we still have quite a bit to upgrade, but we need to get loot. We don't really have as much loot right now, but I wanted to start grinding on these challenges. So I'm going to go out, I'm going to boost up, and I'm going to find us... I'm going to find us some stuff. Actually, we're going to go ahead and just boost up this stuff right here. I'm going to go, and we're going to go single player. Let's knock out our heroes. That way, we don't have to worry about uh, the heroes being a distraction here. We're going to put the queen right into the single. We'll put this warden right in here. There we go. We just sacrificed our heroes to the dragon lord himself. And we're, we're ready to go raid. That way I don't forget and accidentally put those heroes in. Because we only need 15 stars with that. I'm not going to boost them. And it should work. Oh, this is so sketchy, guys. I don't I don't know if this is going to work. Hopefully we get some huge loot, though. Let's go get it. Let's go get that loot. Alrighty, guys. So this base is exactly what we're looking for. Tons and tons of loot. And there's a pretty good path to the core. We're going to go... There's one Dark Elixir drill over there on that far side. But we're going to go over on this side where there's two Dark Elixir drills. Uh, we're going to start off... Actually, we'll go... We got archers. You think we can take out this queen with these archers? We might be able to. Let's do it. Queen going down with the archers. That was actually pretty sick. Taking down the queen with our 30 archers. Let's go ahead and throw a balloon in here. We'll get our first E-drag over there. Uh, let's take out this builder hut. Uh-oh, just kidding. Uh, I guess that'll work, unfortunately. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, there we go. That balloon did some work. Uh, now that E-drag's probably going to get pushed around, but that's okay. I just needed to get one more shot. E-drag... One more shot. Oh, E-Drag on the right's getting shot by the air defense. Take out that gold storage. Perfect. Nice. Oh, yeah. See, so the funnel is set here. We're going to let this Wrecker get through the wall. That's going to be key. We need the Wrecker through the wall. That way our Valkyries are going to go up into the base. And then we're going to go Bowlers right in behind. Now, the Valkyries are actually going to outpace everything else here. We'll go ahead and heal here. Just because that uh, Eagle shot's coming in, we'll Rage up. Now the Valks should be able to run right on through here, especially through a Rage. 
We'll freeze that double single Inferno. Oh yeah, that's that's looking nice. Let's go. Uh, tornado Trap. We'll wait for them to come out of the Tornado Trap. And then we'll Rage up again. Alright, they're going to come out right here. We'll heal. There we go. We get a nice two-star. We are going to miss that far side Dark Elixir. But we do get a quality two-star here. And get quite a bit of the loot. Quite a bit of the Dark Elixir for sure. Uh, Valk's going to finish working through... Uh, I guess I guess I should have probably poisoned the enemy queen. I need that poison in there because if we run into clan castle troops, we're going to get absolutely wrecked. We don't really have a way to deal with clan castle troops. So we have to have that poison in there just to be safe. These Valks do something crazy. They could get to this other side of the base and get that dark elixir out, which would be insane. I don't think they get there. Especially with that. Oh, I should have poisoned the enemy king. Oh, it's, it's a late night, guys. It is a late night, but uh, here we go. Here we go. That's, okay, that's not too bad. Not too shabby in there. 500,000, 500,000, 4,600 Dark Elixir. We actually made Dark Elixir on that. Not bad. That's pretty interesting. All right, guys, we got another base here. Now, ugh, this one I'm kind of torn on because, like, the Dark Elixir storage is there, but we got two drills here, so we're going to have to try to get through the base. Maybe I should have ran a quad quake. That'd be interesting. Uh, but as I'm getting started here, we're going to throw in uh, archers and stuff on the corners. Uh, I just wanted to mention that tonight, Thursday night, we're going to have the biggest stream ever in my history. We're going to have some live guests from my clan family, from the Mad Ram clan family, uh, on the stream live for our supporter war. And it's going to be a good time. We're going to have uh, JC. If you guys have ever watched the stream, you know exactly who JC is. We're going to have Hendo. And we're going to have JJ. You should know all those guys if you watch the streams or watch the channel a little bit. It's going to be a good time. They're going to be at my house during the stream, hanging out. And uh, we're going to have some shenanigans. Not only is it going to be a random spinner war, but we got some fun shenanigans planned for this one. So uh, that should be probably like 8 p.m. Eastern time tonight, Thursday, June 20th. So if you want to come out for that, that will be going on. And we hope to see you all there. Let's go ahead and get in here, though. Uh, let me quit rambling on. Really, the Valks are going over to this one compartment here. All right, so Valks are just doing their thing, moving up here. Let's get this queen taken out. Oh, there's the uh, the old tornado trap slowing us down. Let's see. All right, so the wrecker gets through there. Let's keep these girls going. Town Hall falls. Oh, I didn't put the bowlers in. What a bozo move. All right, Valks are doing all right, though, but again, I did not put the bowlers in for whatever reason. We did a good job keeping the Valks up the center of the base. Now, uh, <laughs> yikes, we kind of messed up not putting the bowlers in. We'll see if we can get a little bit of bowler bounce on that Dark Elixir. Maybe I just meant to do that, guys. Maybe I meant to put the bowl not put the bowlers in because we got all the Dark Elixir. Yeah, I tricked you. I, no, I, I was just talking about the live stream tonight. And I got distracted. It happens to the best of us, but that's a quality two-star. We did complete uh, the percent challenge and the wall challenge, plus our daily attack. So we did get some stuff unlocked on the gold pass. We'll go check that out real quick here. Uh, but not bad. This is actually working pretty well with no heroes. We're getting through there two stars at a time. And we're doing well. So let's go check out what rewards we unlocked. Uh, we got a clock tower potion, 1 million elixir, 20% research boost, 20% builder boost, and a little bit of gold there, which is actually going to help us out. It'll make those spells just a little bit cheaper. So let's go ahead. Let's keep it going. No hero challenge going well. And everything else is going well as well. Well, 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 I'll be right back. Oh, man, guys, we got that monster dark elixir. Now we just got to get the monster dark elixir. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to look the best way to kind of go in here. Let's go a few archers to kind of funnel right here. Get that out. I kind of like having these archers in the army comp, to be honest. They're, they're kind of nice. Uh, but let's go ahead. We'll go balloon here. Get our E-drag working here. Balloon here. E-drag over here. That should work out pretty well. That uh, archer tower is down. Our wizard tower, rather, is down. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, okay, so that e drag's gonna go right over there and smack that Dark Elixir, perfect. That e drag's getting some huge value. Now the problem here is gonna be getting to this core. Uh, I, because Valks are so unpredictable, but let's see. I'm gonna throw the Wrecker in. We're gonna let this Wrecker work for a quick sec. Because, you know, we gotta get, let that Wrecker get at least through the two sets of walls. Alright, we're gonna get through one set of walls there pretty quickly. 
We'll go ahead and get our Valks in. We'll get the Bowlers in as well. Let's go ahead and freeze right there. Rage up here. Heal here. That might actually work to get us in there. Let's go. Let's go, Valkies. We'll heal them up. Poison the Queen. We don't really need to freeze anywhere. We're nice. We are good. Did I have, like, one less spell, though? It felt like I had less spells. We need to try to get to that Dark Elixir on the back end of the space, though. I don't know that that's going to happen. Oh, Valks. All right, let's see. Let's, uh... Try to freeze. Oh, we missed the archer tower. Try to freeze some of this. Oh, the, the one drill. Maybe we should have saved some archers for that. Maybe that's what we should be using the archers for more is uh, make sure we have enough cleanup. Maybe I'm misusing the archers. We still get some huge loot here, though. But I, th I think, we're, yeah, I think that's what's going on. We're misusing the archers. That was interesting, but it felt like I had one less spell in there. No, I guess, yeah, I guess we had everything. Maybe I double tapped a spell. Still 6,600 dark elixir. We're still profiting all around there. Uh, that's not bad at all. Let's go back home, and I think, actually, not with that bonus, that'll be good. Let's go ahead and, in the Star Lab, we can upgrade. Let's go ahead and upgrade in the Star Lab. In our regular lab, let's go ahead and upgrade our Earthquake spell. Gives it up to max 29% damage and a radius of 4.7, which is a full 9.4 diameter. And then we'll go ahead and just grab this stuff, and we'll grab our treasury. Not bad. Do we have enough to get, oops, to get anything else up? Mortars are 7.2. Ooh, these little baby cannons. Okay, let's do some of these baby cannons. I didn't realize those cannons were so low. And then we'll go ahead and throw a little bit of elixir into walls. Not bad. We'll be back with the next attack. All right, guys, we have another huge dark elixir raid. And I think what this time, we'll go ahead and put the archers in over here. Grab that dark elixir. And then... Still might need to grab a little bit on the other side. So we get that one taken care of. Let's go ahead and put our E-Drag here. We'll put our E-Drag over here. We'll let these funnels develop. I'll save those last 22 archers to see if we can get in there. Uh, that's going to be tough. We might have to do it like while the Valkyries are working or something. I don't know. We'll see also what this E-Drag gets because he might get some good value. All right, so E-Drag's working on either side. You definitely want to try to get good value out of them. We're using basically 80 space. So I was thinking like a Queen Walk Valks, but since we're doing the No Hero Challenge, basically the E-Drags, oh, it's 70 space. The E-Drags are essentially taking the place of what would be my Queen Walk. So I guess it kind of works out. Oh, that, I thought that E-Drag was going to go up and get, um, get that Dark Elixir taken care of. That would have been so nice. But it didn't work out. That happens. All right, let's go ahead and heal there. We'll rage. Uh, let's go ahead and or freeze right there. Keep that going. Oh, yeah, that's nice. We're moving right on through this. Oh, look at that. The Valks are going to go over there and get it. That's what I'm talking about. Go, Valks, go. Let's poison that king, even though it's too late and he's do done. Man, those Valks are just shredding this base. What the heck? They are shredding right on through here, but they might run out of gas because we're out of spells. That would make sense that they would run out of steam a little bit right there. But, man, we got pretty good into this base. We're getting the 70% taken care of. But it just runs out of the gas on the back end a little bit there. Maybe, hmm, might be worth taking out one of the heals for another rage. I mean, it can't hurt anything if we freeze the eagle fast enough. Let's try that. Maybe I want to, like, make this, I want to be able to three-star with this because it's actually getting pretty decent. So I'm going to take out one of the heals for another rage just to try to finish off the back ends of those bases. And if we freeze the eagle, it might not backfire too much. So uh, these gals are going to work through, but they're just going to get taken out and picked off by the archer tower. So we'll go ahead and finish right there. And a nice raid, 8,500 dark elixir yet again. That's pretty nice. So let's switch out those spells and see if we can improve. Really quickly, guys, we did finish up the deployment uh, challenge with deploying enough troops. So we'll get the training boost, which will actually make this a little bit cheaper for us. Uh, saving some cost there because the cost of the Valkyries will go down. So that's not bad at all. Uh, so where are we at? 26.32? It's not bad. We'll be back in a sec. Holy crap, guys. I don't know what is going on right now, but we are finding the most insane loot ever right now. Oh, let's, uh, let's go in. I see that Dark Elixir storage at the top, which shouldn't be a big deal. We should be able to just get in there. We don't really have to worry about the Eagle too much, so we'll go. We'll just throw an E-Drag up there and make that happen. Uh, let's go archers kind of over here on the side. Make sure... Am I missing? Okay, the other drill's right there. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. We will be good. I guess I should probably went for some of that gold. 
too late now. Yeah, let's go ahead and believe it, that's a cool looking base. It's triple X there. Uh, it kind of looks like the movie logo of triple X or, you know, triple X, uh, XXX in Roman numerals is uh, 30, you know. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get this attack going before things get a little more awkward in here and we have to have the talk with you guys. Um, wouldn't be the first time I've had to have the talk with the viewers, but, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's get our Valkies in here. Ooh, Valks, where are you going, girls? So, what I did also, I forgot, uh, rather than take out the... the... Uh, heal, I took out the freezes because I thought about it, I was like, well, why worry about having to freeze the eagle? Let's just take the freezes out and still have the heal and we'll be good. We shouldn't have too many problems getting through this one, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and get that all working. Rage up these Valky girls. We'll swag out the poison right there. Man, that's a monster raid on the triple X uh, 30 base. It's definitely a 30 base. Uh, but man, that was, that was a huge find and we're gonna get all that loot. Plus we get that three star, which we kind of needed that three star anyways to help us out so we didn't have to hit an extra raid on this one. But there we go, a nice three star, 800,000, 800,000, 8,800 Dark Elixir, plus those bonuses put us over a million, million, and a 10K Dark Elixir game. That's nuts for no heroes, that's insane. All right, I really don't know what's going on with this loot, but we are finding some crazy loot right now, holy crap. In case you guys are wondering, it's about 1 a.m. I started this video probably about 12.30 a.m. Eastern time. I know some people get curious what time I'm farming, uh, so that'll give you a little bit of a reference on when I'm finding this huge monster loot. Uh, let's go ahead and get that E-Dragon. We got that Dark Elixir on the back end. E-Drag's working. It's going to be a little bit of a problem. That's actually going to be a pretty big problem. Ooh, hold on. Did I not get a record? Uh-oh. That could be a problem also. Yikes. Uh, all right, hold on. I got ideas. I shouldn't have... Uh, I got ideas still. Let's go. Oh, check me out, guys. Check me out. We got this. We got this. I got plans. We're going in. We're abandoning the plan. We're going in on the side here. Uh, so what do we have? We do have Valkyries in the clan castle, which is interesting to kind of think about, but we'll take it. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys, in, gals, in here uh, and get working through. We'll go ahead and keep them raged. We'll poison that queen just to slow her down. I don't think I needed a rage there. I think I just overlapped the rages, but that's all right. We're in the core. That's all that matters. We're getting the Dark Elixir. We're getting the Town Hall down. King is going down. We'll rage the Valks out here. Not bad. Look at that. You gotta adapt, overcome, and survive. I don't think survive is relevant here or something. I don't even know if that's the real saying. I'm, I'm just making things up. But we're gonna try to get to the 70% to get that full bonus. We didn't get all of the Golden Elixir. Why didn't we have a wall record? I swear I gave myself a wall record. Yeah, I'm, I'm donating myself. It's, it's whatever. Uh, 69%. Let's see if we can get that 70. Go, Valks! Break through that wall. Oh, that's that's a lot of damage coming in. Oh, they're, they're not going to make it. We'll get that 69% giggity. But that's still another huge raid. 7,300 Dark Elixir. I think we need one more to finish up the No Hero Challenge. All right, we got our final one here to finish up the challenge. As long as we two-star, that is. Uh, let's go ahead and start a uh, funnel over here. Oh, these E-Drags are actually going to go into the air defense. I don't like that, but I don't think we have much of a choice here. Let's see if we can get our Valks to... Or not our Valks, our Archers to work out some of this here. Get a little bit of value in there. And then we'll run them up. I'm going to put one Valkyrie over here. The Eagle is down. The Inferno's down on this base. So that's going to obviously help us. But we'll kind of have to see. We'll see how things go. Those E-Drags are actually tearing up the base up top there. Let's see. Ooh. We got some targets on that Dark Elixir. Look at what the heck is going on over here. I like it. Let's go. Uh, let's just go in. We'll throw it the Wrecker right in there. Let that get in. I'm going to throw in like a few Valks because I anticipate, and by a few I guess I mean 10, I anticipate them going to the right, which is fine. And then we'll throw the other Valks over here and try to keep them up in the center of the base. So let's go ahead and rage there, rage there. All right, heal there, rage there. Uh, we got the Wrecker working up the middle. The Wrecker's stuck in the clan castle. That's what the Wrecker was doing. Stuck on the clan castle, but we'll go ahead and rage here. Heal that. Oh, we're back to the freezes. I guess we're, I guess we got the freeze count. We got the two star though. We just need to get to the back end of this base for that dark elixir. 
We'll freeze there, freeze there. We'll poison uh, those healers or those wizards and archers on those towers. That doesn't actually work, but I, I like to pretend. We, we like to pretend here on the Clash Bashing channel that things that are absolutely ridiculous work. We get all the Dark Elixir. So we actually, we made some gains with this army. We got some good loot. We got some good Dark Elixir. It was really interesting. Uh, we're going to have to keep doing this. We don't have to do it with no heroes. I think if we throw the heroes in there, it might be a little bit better. We might even be able to switch to like a Queen Walk. But I, I'm kind of liking the way the E-Drags are working. I don't know that we necessarily need a Queen Walk. We could go with like a Queen Charge. But those E-Drags are kind of doing the, some work for the same value. But Queen Walk could be fun for the next episode just to change it up a little bit, you know. Kind of get a, a little bit of a different action in there. But uh, we're going to let these Valks work mostly because that Valk in the south is getting some Elixir. That's probably about all she's going to get because that Double Cannon will tear her up. I don't know. She might get a shot on that gold store or gold mine. We'll wait it out. Let's go. Get there. Get there. One shot. Okay, she got one shot. We got a little bit of loot out of it. 87%. Good dark elixir. Good loot all around there. And we finish off the challenge. The no hero challenge. We almost knocked out 500 levels worth of heroes. Also, not bad, guys. Not bad. Bigger season bank. Power potion. Ooh, we can claim the power potion. And we can upgrade one of these little baby cannons. And we're good. We are in business. We'll upgrade a wall right there. Let's upgrade two walls. And we got so many walls to do. Oh, my accounts have so many walls to do. Oh, I hate grinding walls. Uh, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.